Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and this is a quick compare and contrast between a vintage G.I. Joe action figure and its modern equivalent. Since I most recently reviewed Shipwreck, I wanted to look at a couple other versions of Shipwreck. We have version 1 from 1985, and we have version 19 from 2015. This version 19 was from the 50th anniversary set. One special thing about this modern Shipwreck action figure figure. I won it in a drawing from the YouTube channel Comic Tropes. Uh, Chris Pierce from that channel has become a good friend of this channel and I've come to appreciate his insight and advice. Let's start with a quick overview of version 1 of Shipwreck from 1985. This is the version of Shipwreck that most G.I. Joe fans would be familiar with. This is how he looked in the Sunbow animated series and this is how he looked in most of his appearances in the G.I. Joe comic book series. Uh, it's the classic Navy sailor look uh, with his Dixie Cup hat, uh, his brown beard, uh, his overall blue uniform. Uh, he has his rank insignia on his shoulder uh, and he has a tattoo on his forearm. Um, as far as accessories, he comes with his percussion pistol uh, that has a little loop that can go around his wrist. Uh, he has his boarding hooks with the black string. I'm not a big fan of this accessory, but you can wind that string around the hook uh, that is on Shipwreck's left hip. Again, this is not my favorite accessory. Uh, most of the time I have this wrapped around the body of the action figure because it can fall off of that hook really easily. And then most importantly, we have his parrot, the green and yellow parrot named Polly, which has feet that can clip onto his wrist. The original Shipwreck action figure did not come with a figure stand. I'm just using a generic figure stand for this one. And uh, of course, this is Shipwreck's iconic look. Uh, this is what what most of us think of when we think of Shipwreck. And I do like this figure. I think it's appropriate for a Navy sailor. Although this is Shipwreck's iconic look, it is not his only look, as we saw with the review of Shipwreck version 2, where he was wearing a diving suit. This modern version 1950th anniversary Shipwreck figure uh, gives us an alternative interpretation of Shipwreck. Uh, it's not the only Shipwreck action figure that has this general overall look, uh, but it is nice to see this different take on the classic Shipwreck figure. This modern 50th anniversary Shipwreck came in a two-pack packaged with Cobra Commander. This modern Shipwreck action figure has more accessories than he can carry, uh, but let's take a look at those accessories uh, starting with his parrot. Uh, he does have an updated version of Polly. Uh, instead of the parrot at rest. Uh, we now have the parrot with his wings out and you can uh, pretend that the parrot is flying with his wings out like this. Uh, so that's not a bad update. Uh, he also has some additional paint applications with a, a few more colors. He has some purple on his head. Uh, he has a little bit of a white paint wash on his wings. Uh, he has yellow feet. Uh, so this is not a bad update of Polly, uh, not a bad update of the parrot. I do have a little bit of a problem with it though. The feet on this parrot are very small, so it's difficult to clip him onto anything. I have him clipped to this loop on Shipwreck's vest. I don't know that that's where it's supposed to go. The feet are a flexible plastic and the vest is also a flexible plastic, which actually makes it difficult to get the feet clipped onto that loop. Um, I've seen pictures on yojo.com with the parrot clipped onto Shipwreck's hand. I did try try that. I was not able to get that to work. Uh, and the feet are too small to clip on Shipwreck's wrist, uh, as the vintage parrot does. So Polly only really has uh, a few places where he can clip onto Shipwreck. What I would like to see, and what neither the vintage nor the modern figure have, uh, is a Polly that can clip on Shipwreck's shoulder. Uh, that's what I'd like to see. I want the parrot to be on Shipwreck's 
shoulder rather than on his vest or on his wrist. I just think that's where the parrot should be. Here are the two versions of Polly side by side. Uh, I was always fine with the vintage uh, Polly. Uh, I thought the parrot was fine uh, at rest. I thought this was uh, appropriate for Shipwreck's partner. Um, but it is nice to get uh, a parrot with the wings out, so you can really kind of pretend that the parrot is flying. Uh, but I think the feet on the modern parrot uh, are not an upgrade from the vintage version. Uh, the vintage version doesn't clip onto the figure's shoulder either. Those feet are just a bit too small for the action figure's shoulder. Uh, they fit on the wrist. Uh, be, but these smaller feet on the new Polly uh, don't clip on anywhere very well at all. Uh, you might clip him on to one of Shipwreck's uh, rifles. Um, I guess he might fit on the barrel of one of the guns, but I'm not sure you would want your parrot to uh, rest there. Uh, but anyway, not a bad version of Polly on the modern figure. And really, I kind of like both for different reasons. So um, I think they're about even as far as I'm concerned, um, as far as my preferences. So uh, both pretty good parrots. Shipwreck has two knives, one with a paint application on the blade. Uh, another unpainted silver, uh, well, actually kind of a grayish knife. Um, both are not bad, uh, but he doesn't really have a place to put them. Um, I thought uh, he would have maybe a sheath on the vest um, or on the leg or something like that uh, to put these knives, but he doesn't really have that, uh, at least not that I can find, and I haven't seen uh, pictures of him storing the knife in anywhere. So uh, the knives either have to be in his hand uh, or just sitting off to the side. I do prefer to have uh, accessories that the action figure can carry. It's just a preference for me. I don't like to have extra accessories that the action figure can't holster or carry. Shipwreck has two assault rifles, one tan with a black paint application and another one that is all black. Uh, and I guess he can hold both of them at the same time, but of course, uh, then he's got two uh, extra knives that he won't hold on to. Uh, neither of them fit in the hand very well, at least on my example, you can kind of make them fit. Uh, we kind of have to wedge them in there. So um, not bad assault rifles, um, but uh, maybe more accessories than he absolutely needs. In the holster on his leg, he has a very tiny, almost microscopic pistol. Um, and that has an even smaller suppressor uh, that fits into the holster. Not super easy to even get out, um, but that tiny suppressor will fit on the barrel of the pistol. Um, that is really small. That's a tiny accessory. I guess it's nice that it's removable from the holster rather than just uh, sculpted in. Uh, but maybe a little too small. The pistol will fit in Shipwreck's hand, but it does seem a bit undersized. Like most modern figures, this Shipwreck figure came with a figure stand with his name on it. And since this is a 50th anniversary figure, it has G.I. Joe in gold letters on the top. The modern figure replaces Shipwreck's Donald Duck hat with a black beanie, but he has his brown beard. It does look like Shipwreck. It's a nice look. I do like it. Uh, he has this black tactical vest with a loop here on the back. I will remove this vest in a moment because I want you to see what's under the vest. Um, on his shirt on the right sleeve, he has a little gold star. This designates him as a 50th anniversary figure. Uh, he has his tattoo on his arm. Um, on his left arm, he has a black band, which could mean that Shipwreck is in mourning or maybe he is protesting the Vietnam War. The war's over, Shipwreck. With that vest removed, we see Shipwreck is wearing a white t-shirt with navy in black letters across the chest. I really like this. Uh, instead of having his blue dungarees, uh, he has green BDU trousers. Uh, he's got a brown belt with a silver belt buckle. He's got a brown holster on the right leg, brown pouches on the left leg. He has knee pads and gray boots. And I like this. Uh, this is a nice up 
update to Shipwreck. Um, it's not the same as the classic uh, blue Navy uniform look, uh, but it's it's not bad. It's recognizable as Shipwreck, um, it, but it's updated with a bit more detail and to make him uh, maybe a bit more battle ready. As you may know if you've watched earlier videos, I am not as enamored with modern articulation and sculpting as a lot of modern G.I. Joe collectors are. I like the classic look for Shipwreck, but I also do like this a modern update. I think the modern figure has a nice look as well. So in my book, these two figures come out about even. That was a quick compare and contrast between version one of Shipwreck from 1985 and version 19 from 2015. I hope you enjoyed it. We do full vintage G.I. Joe toy reviews on this channel every week, so I hope you will subscribe and check back for those. Thank you to my patrons for their generous support. Please find me on social media on Facebook and Twitter, and I have a website, hcc788.com. I will see you soon with another full vintage G.I. Joe toy review. I will see you then, and until then, remember only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe.